Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about Shopify product page. It is going to be easy. Probably this is the last video and uh, I'm working around Shopify settings. So if I come to the Shopify partner, make sure you come to you log into your Shopify partner first. After you log in here, you can click in the login with whichever store you have. You can log in on that store. So for me, it is it was like code inspirative, which we did in the previous videos. So you click on the login and it will log in me to my store and now I have all the settings. So as I said, this is going to be the last video about Shopify user interface. After that, I will work on development, the things that will be related to developers and anything developers will know about Shopify. Everything is the user interface is very easy. I know most people will pick it. So far, most people might think these are the basic stuff. So we might go to advanced in the next videos. So for now, if I come back to the product, here is the product which we do not have any. You can click on the add product and it will send you to the product new page. From here you can create your product. I'm going to add some product behind the scene but for now let's see what are the options possible here. First of all title, description, that is common. You can upload images and once you upload the images you can upload images from the URL also. For example, if I upload this image which is the feature image for the first video, you can see it will come here and now if I save my options, okay, my product does not have any title. You cannot save it until it has a title. Let's say this is going to be a test product. So I will save this one. Now after you save this, you will have another option in your product page that you can upload images from a URL. Most of the time you can do this one. Here is the option. Add image from the URL. That is something you have to know. In the sidebar, you have the product type. They have a clear example of it. How it is, product type can be t-shirt, it can be let's say a dress, a skirt, whatever you want. It can be like the product um, vendor. Vendor is like where you are selling it. Currently you are selling in this website. It can be like you are selling in different websites, that's why you can write their vendors here. So that is how you add vendor. How about collection? Collections are like categories. So you can add category here. Let's say it is going to be uh, news or oh, not news, let's say a sport or not. Can come here and write a sport collection here. For now, I don't have any sport collection, that's why it's not showing. It will show in the home page. I'll show you how you can create collection in a future videos. But for now, what is different between product type and the collection here? They say, like, it's scared, it can be the same. The product type is unique, but this is not unique. You can have a product in multiple collections, but you cannot have product in this like with multiple product type that's why if you can have a product in sale collection in home collection in a sport collection and women collection you can have them in multiple collections but for the product type it will be unique and it will be only in one product type here is the product tag tag can be used for many things this is similar to collection but tags can be used for filtering also you can filter product based on the tags which is very handy and useful Coming down here, we have the pricing. This is going to be the original price of the product. And you have another option called compared price. Let's say if your product costs, uh, let's say $50, this is going to be the price. But sometimes you want that product to be on sale. And you bring down the product, let's say you will sell it on $40. What was the original price? The original price was $50. Now this product will show as a sale and they will cross 50, like there will be a line above the 50 it is not 50 now it is going to be 40 that is how you can flag product as a sale so coming up like you have cost per items we'll talk about this or later once we add a more variance to this one you have inventory option what is inventory inventory is where you are going to store your uh, product some store have let's see um they have a big company on the the company they store their physical product and those product have a let's say a box for each place that you are putting let's say they have a room think of amazon they have a lot of products where they are going to put them this is how you will write their uh, inventory SKU, and st stuff like that these are useful when you have a lot of product and you know where you have put them so you can add the quantity and you can add all the shipping information here also let's say you are going to add this product is going to be three kg and you can specify to the user this is going to be 3 kg and it will cost this much for the shipping because you know shipping will cost based on the weight of the product and where you are sending that's why and you have variance here variance are very important 
If I check this one for variant, variant is going to be a different type of your product. For example, your product has color and it is red, green, blue. You can have different variant for this one. It has size of medium, small. Let's say you have MD for medium or yeah, it is mostly M here in Australia. So L will be for large and XL will be for extra large and maybe S for small. And these are going to be different types of your product. That's why you can add variant. You can add another option here. Let's say color and you have red, you have green, you have yellow. These are all going to be options for you. Once you save everything, scrolling down, you have every variant here. Medium red, medium green, medium yellow. Each of them will be counted as one product here. This is product and this product has different other variants. So each variant can have different quantity. They must be stored in different places and they have different barcode. Those are the stuff you can specify here. Also, you can change the price of every product. For example, if something is extra large, you can sell it in higher price, which can be set here. For now, I will save it, but I will do some random product behind the scene. So it should not take too much of the video. So that's all you need to know about the product page here and the search engine. We can review that later. You can add some nice and descriptive title for SEO and description. It will show in the Google search page, which is nice and handy. We will talk about that in a future video. But for now, that's all you have to know about the product page. And I will see you in the next video. We will talk about development tools for Shopify. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.